to show you how to install the Coway P07QL countertop reverse osmosis system. To begin, you'll need a few tools. They include a drill, an eighth inch drill bit, as well as a quarter inch drill bit, a Phillips head screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a flashlight, a pencil, and a knife. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to just put an X on the counter where we're going to drill the hole. I'm going to put some duct tape over the X. The reason for the duct tape is that you're going to need some surface that the drill bit can bite into so that it doesn't start traveling all over the counter. So I'm just going to mark the X above it. It just makes it a soft, softer surface where it can actually grab hold of something in the middle before it starts wandering all over. Okay, so you can take either a nail with a hammer or you can take uh, a small drill bit. Either way, what you want to do, I'm using a nail, is you want to take the nail, put it in the middle of the hole, and all you want to do is just put a small starter spot so that as you begin with the drill, your drill bit won't be wandering all over the counter making a mess. That was easy. So now I am going to drill a hole through the wall here because we're headed to the other side of the counter. Um, ordinarily you would want to uh, drill through the side of your cabinet in getting your water line over to connect to the cold water. So after you've drilled your hole, go ahead and put both tubes from the back of it down through the through there. Make sure that they don't have any stiff bends in them. Okay, the orange line is the water intake valve. So this is what comes from your cold water line. The blue is what's going to go is the dirty water, the return water that's going to go to your drain pipe. You will receive a connector that looks like this as well as one that's smaller that looks like this. The larger one is a flow regulator. This is the one that needs to go on the orange line so that, you're, so that what happens is uh, if you ever have a surge in water in your line, it doesn't affect the unit. So go ahead, you'll see that there's an arrow. That means it points up. Go ahead and put that on one end of the orange, put it on the orange line. Push it up and then push a little, little bit more and you'll feel it go in just a tad bit more. That's how you know it's sealed. Give it a little tug and you're good. So then take the other end that's going to go to the water, cold water line and do the same thing. Give it a tug. Same process with the other one. So first, Turn off the cold water. You might want to check on top, try running the cold water, make sure nothing comes out. Then disconnect your cold water. You might want to put a, a small shallow bowl underneath just to catch any drips. Then take this piece, little gray piece, and connect it up. This is on the 3 8 inch part of the line as opposed to a quarter inch part. Grab a pair of pliers to hold it in place while you tighten it. Okay. And just rehook up the other part. And tighten. Okay, so the cold water uh, valve is, is now in place. So take the line that came from your cold, or that's going to go into the cold water, and 
go ahead and hook it in there, same way you did before. Push it in a couple times, give it a tug, and that part's good. So cold water's inlet is already set. Now we need to hook up the dirty water uh, line to the drain pipe. For that, we're going to drill a hole in the drain pipe first. Okay, go ahead and not just make a mark, but actually make kind of an indentation in the, in the pipe, in the plastic pipe. What you're going to do, the, the reason that's important is, you're going to be taking your quarter inch drill bit, and you need some place for it to begin so that it's not, it's not running all over. And then just go ahead and drill. All right, so Coway would have it will have included. This is called a saddle valve. It uh, has two screws on either side, and then this is where the this is where the dirty water return is going to come in. Go ahead and unscrew. Coway actually did a very nice job. They they put a spot in there so that your the back of your screws aren't twisting around all the time. Makes it really convenient. But go ahead and unscrew both sides. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place, we're going to line the hole here and you'll be able to see it as you look through. We're going to line this hole up with the hole we just drilled in our drain pipe. Take your two screws. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so before you tighten it up, the, the final twist. Just look through your hole and make sure that you can see the, uh, the hole in your drain pipe. And then tighten up your, your screws. Okay, now take the end that is for the dirty water return and you guessed it. Put it in there, push it in, give it a tug, and it's secure. Now, so I've just plugged this in. One thing I want to point out to you, you'll notice that my return water line, it doesn't have any kinks in it. It's fairly short, not too short as to put a strainer uh, and make the line bend to cut it off, but what you'll notice is that there's, it's, it's straight and that it slopes downward. This is important with a reverse osmosis unit because if the, if the return water line goes uphill or has a kink in it or something like that, your wastewater cannot drain properly into your drain pipe. Now go ahead and turn the cold water back on. Do it slowly so that you can monitor if there's any leaks. There's one more filter to install. Uh, and that's the ceramic filter that would have come separately. So to do that, you're going to first slide back the top, set it aside, and then you have a wet reservoir. Just unsnap the, the little, uh, the white holders, and in the top there is this piece that hangs down. This, you'll take the ceramic filter, put it on, and twist it into place. And that's all there is to it. And then just replace it. Go ahead and filter the water through the tank three different times to make sure all the carbon and whatnot uh, is flushed out. And then enjoy some great tasting water. Mmm, good water.
Be sure to sign up for our eFilter Auto Refresh program also where you save on shipping and you never have to remember to order replacement filters. We send you just the filters you need when you need to replace them. No membership fees, no binding contracts, cancel at any time. To find out more, call us at 1-800-779-1340. Enjoy! Then we're going to have to come back over here and show 